And welcome back to beautiful La Bruinaca. So we still need to find a name for this town, but we can grow it in the meantime. Um, and we can now build our first houses here. So in that case, the, food, the, the town is growing, right? We have the fire station, the marketplace that doesn't have a Christmas tree. And also the chapel here. So all the basics are there. And let's just spam houses. In that case, also our new layout up here as well. That is really optimal, I think. And this block here. Lucky these buildings don't cost that much timber. So we can really build a lot of them at the same time. And thus, the town starts to grow as well. And here, we're really going to push for higher um, civilization as well. So we're going to, you know, satisfy the needs of those guys and whatever. Oh, look at that. And we already got the first ride in Crown Falls as well. So this is something we need to take care of ASAP. So I'm going to remove some of these blueprints that we have like this one here for now and there i can then squeeze in a fire uh, police station right like so and instead of that we're going to have here we can squeeze in a few more buildings let's build the fire station uh the police station it's a good thing that we have the uh, bricks here already so i could do the same thing then over here somewhere but for now, one will be fine. And just look at the reach of it. So it does reach quite a bit. Um, we continue now here in Crown Falls with the sheep farm. Because we really need to push for the houses there. And Mercia buys actually the second share in Sleepy Hollow. Um, for now, it's fine. But we should be really careful here. Um, I don't know why he's got so much money. To be honest. The next uh, ship of the line is coming out. And I can produce another one right away. I'm also going to produce another Royal Galleon right away. So we're going to build another armada. Alright, and Hunt is meanwhile purchasing shares from Ching. I don't care about that so much. I do have my ship here though. Um, also Hugo is in front of Ching. I don't know why. Looks quite threatening. Let's move my frigate up here while I can. Right, and here we got the main fleet that is now waiting for stuff to happen. This is looking dangerous at this point. I hope it's not turning into something more. I mean, I do have everything for you people. Why are you protesting? I guess we'll need a few more. I'm just not able to build my sheep farms. The next island. Look at that. Miss Hunt is taking over the next island from Jing. Should we go against Miss Hunt at this point? I can't. I don't have the firepower. Uh, and I need to build my freaking sheep farms here all right so there we were able to squeeze in a few of them i can copy this layout here now to the other side as well so we have now a couple of them here um i might also do the same thing then yeah we can still squeeze in those guys here like so one of them will not have a farm then but we can you know make this one i think it's this one Right, so there we have the farm then for this one. Um, and we can also squeeze in another sheep farm here, just fine. We are going to need another warehouse then as well for this area. And I'm going to squeeze in yet more sheep farms for this area too. So there is a space for one and I think we might even squeeze in a few more here yep and miss hunt has taken over another island from jing poor jing she's losing a lot there right now but these are the sheep farms and trust me we are going to need a lot of these and this is our sheep wool production right that we have so we do need those sheep wools for quite a lot of things we do need it for workload and for the sail making as well than for our ships so that's why we have so many of them um one thing that i do need still is the framework knitters for those guys i'm going to have another warehouse then here as well and then we just basically have a whole bunch of them it's going to be a lot of these framework knitters that we can squeeze in here and that we should squeeze in here so those guys and here as well and of course, what we also still lack is a fire station. So we're going to have one fire station here by the industry. And perhaps we can squeeze in. Yep, very good. Another fire station than just here as well. Um, in that case, that's a lot. I think this is fine for now. This is just the workload production that we have. So this is just up here now. We still also need to prepare now the schnapps production before I can do anything. And meanwhile, we can use... Oh boy, come on. 
Meanwhile, what we really should be doing is having another uh, police station somewhere here, right? So can I get rid of some of these buildings there? Nope. Another police station for all these people there. Let's squeeze in one up there as well for now. This ride is pretty big at this point. Um, we can still do continue with building more farmers. And that's what we should be doing. Money is still going down. There we have those guys. And I think for the fish, this is fine right now. But I know what they want. And they want the schnapps. So this is what we can prepare now in this area, right? This is where we're going to have a whole bunch of schnapps uh, fields now. Or potato fields. And it's pretty far away from the town for quite some time. So this is my intention for this area. Stone. And yes, we also found a name for our new world town. So this will be now, I hope it, it can be that long. So it's Playa, Playa del Carmen. Righto. So this is now our main hometown here in the new world. And we just call it Carmen from now. And in Carmen, I do need still more buildings that I can squeeze in there now. Also on the other hand here up there as well. Unfortunately, the new wall is not providing that many taxes. Right, so if I build so many houses here, they're not really paying me much of a tax there. Not for now anyway. But main focus still lies on Crown Falls, unfortunately. Um, there's just too much work here and look at that. The ride is pretty big at this point. I think it might also be a sabotaged uh, ride here. Right, and we do have, do we have anything there? No, we just need to continue now here with the potato plantations. So he wants again to publish a uh, fake news for us. <laughs> um, and that's what we're going to do, the anarchist truth, right? Um, the newspaper edition is here. So let's just check it. And as we can see, there's nothing here at the moment. Um, so let's just use one of his anarchist um, newspaper pro propaganda. Either we go with minus 90% right chance and Min uh, minus 10% income or we go with a uh, plus 125 workforce but plus 25% need for consumption. Let's rather go with the m uh, negative income there for a while. Um, we can counter that with a plus 15% income there and also with the minus 20 consumption there as well, once again. But money, oh god, I need more money now quickly. So we really need to ramp this one up here. I got a bit of money now from Hugo once again, and we can now copy all these potato Fire fields here. Left ruins behind. And keep in mind that for um, the potato fields, I'm not going to use my oil and stuff like that because it's just not needed. It's a very cheap production. I'm going to save my oil for um, more expensive productions later then. Right, here we need to be careful. We have the clay deposit up there as well. So I will need to... Most likely go around that. Yeah. And this is also looking really cool now. So we have basically set up the production. All we need to do now is, well, basically start with the first um, building here, which is our warehouse there. Also the first fire station. We're going to finish the first um, four sheep farms. And also then over here, the first, first four framework knitters to start up our production here of the workload and the same thing we do just here now with the first let's say four potato fields coming up now and the first four schnapps distilleries oh it's actually five let's make five out of it righto with this in mind we can now continue building we still have some timber as well on our ship so let's just unload all of that so we can continue building faster we have a whole new district up here Let's just place them. More people. And also, I guess this is now increasing my fish consumption. So we're going to need some more fishermen then as well. And the revolt is over lucky. And I think there's no more ruin here. There is a ruin in Tarek. And yes, we need to be very careful now. Um, because we have now three, four cities to manage. Um, that we don't forget anything too important. Right, Maribu. By the way, we have some defense now in Maribu that we can build. So we have the mounted gun. It costs me a bit of influence, but we can still manage to do this. So let's just build the mounted gun here. Close to the 
area, so three of them should be fine for our first defense. Right, so that we can defend Mary Buddha a bit. And Carmen, well, Carmen is just looking fine as it is because we got the defense here. In Carmen, we can continue building um, more houses. So we still have this block up here as well. By the way, money-wise, I'm not too worried about yet. We have a lot of investments um, and I can still sell a lot of stuff, trust me. And we're going to do this soon. So the balance is bad at the moment because of our fleet, but we're going to get rid of that problem soon. Going to have now another marketplace. We just need to continue building at this point. There is there's just too much we need to build. And Miss Hunt, of course, is not sleeping at all. Right on, we will also have. A marketplace here together with a chapel that we can squeeze in then just next to it. And also more houses than here. Right, so that the town here grows as well. And of course, soon we will, we will be able then for our first productions there as well. For now, we have the next fleet ready, right? The Royal Galleon is ready. And what we can do with this one now is beautiful, right? And that is, we have a lot of soap. And don't forget who likes soap. Well, Eli likes all the soap in the world. So we have now this mighty and very quite nicely fortified um, trading convoy. And this one will now deliver the soap between my town, Sleepy Hollow, and Eli. And for now, we're doing it manually, just so that we can see how much soap we really can get out of it. Let's get 150 tons of soap to Eli. And perhaps we're actually making some surplus there with the beer as well. But let's just get some workload over there as well, right? This one is now on its way. And trust me, this is going to be a lot of money, right? As this fleet is now moving. And while building Crown Falls, we've also finally reached level 30. This is amazing. Level 30 will bring us a lot more propaganda there and a lot more influence. So the influence is important to get our defense up, right? Um, Crown Falls also doesn't need any defense for now. As the sun is going down in this very beautiful game, I just have to say it again and again. Um, right, our industry up here is starting to work now. Let's just check our production there real quick. So we have, as we can see, schnapps and workload is now positive. Fish was negative there for a second. I'm pretty sure because it's full. Yes, fish is full in stock. So we don't need to worry about that for now. Though we're going to worry about that soon. Let's build these more houses here. As the town is growing, um, I might also have another police station in this area. And there we have the police station as well. Right, so we got a few police stations up there now, also a few fire stations, and it's getting nighttime. And as we can see, well, the farmers don't have that many lights, but the more sophisticated buildings do have some lighting. And this is going to look fabulous then once we have more sophisticated buildings here. Meanwhile, our trading convoy has arrived up here. A very heavily guarded trading convoy um, has arrived. And let's just sell the soap. And that's 60,000 coin just from that soap. And bear in mind, we continue producing soap. Oh, and look at that. Love, uh, Sean LaFortune and Lady Market Hunt are now at war with, with each other once again. This is good for us. So in the new world, uh, there's going to be quite some action here now since... Um, she is at war with the pirate. We, on the other hand, we should still find the pirate. This is a bit more tricky because we need to use our fleet. Using my fleet, though, leaves um, Carmen here defenseless. So at the moment, I cannot do that. What I can do is, though, I'm going to send my clipper down here real quick, get some more resources, and we're going to use these resources then for um, defending Carmen there, putting up some defense there, right? So they are now on the way. And as we can see, the balance is getting better, though it's still way too bad. But we're getting a good amount of money in there all the time, thanks to selling stuff um, and exporting. There we got the oil patch, not very beautiful. But we're going to have a chapel next to it. So this is the chapel of oil. <laughs> this is a, a chapel surrounded by an oil patch. Beautiful, right? 
let's have a little courtyard around the oil. So this oil here, I'm not going to use. I'm going to move it once we have the a scholars. Raised a settlement. Alrighty. Carmen is continuing to grow. We still have some space up here that I want to use as well. So those buildings there, once again, there is a bit of oil. So around the oil, I'm not going to build any houses. This is just not looking good. So we're just finishing those houses here. And here we'll still need another marketplace. Uh, it's it's. I need to really hurry up there with Carmen though, because we need to get back to Crown Falls. Unfortunately, it is that stressful at the moment, but once we have everything set up, it's going to be a bit easier because then we have the defense up, we have then the money coming in, but right now we just need to hurry up with all of it. There I'm going to have my little chapel then right in front of the marketplace. I think this is looking nice, so we can have some ornaments around it then as well. And of course, I should never forget the fire stations, so we should also have a little fire station up here. There we have the oil deposit, uh, the gold deposits. Very important then, so we're going to need them. And here I can just finish this block there with a few more houses then. And boom, let's build all of them. And the fire station. So Carmen is growing and it's looking like a really beautiful smaller town here. Look at that with the colors and the mountains in the background and very idyllic indeed. Alrighty, we also continue here with Crown Falls and we do have a few main roads here. By the way, this one needs to go away so we can have another road here. Keep in mind, this is the road, for example, where we're going to have a train passing through then later, right? Um, not the main avenue anymore, especially not this big one here. This is going to be a really great place then here with uh, four layers of roads, then the, the palace and the town hall and the, um, the gardens around it, beautiful. Um, but for here, we're going to need the train tracks. This is going then into the industrial district, right? Here and here. So there we're going to have then the bridge over it. There is a bridge, for example. So this is going to be the land of many bridges, <laughs> as we can call it. And here, I will also need to have something. Now, just keep in mind the transition that we have now here in the city layout. Um, we have more green stuff here, right? We're going to have more green stuff here then again. And the further we go into the center, um, the more densely populated it is. So this is then really the power house, the power center of the town. This is where we're going to have a lot of high skyscrapers, you know, at, at some point. But the further we go outside, the more parks I want to have and the more... Um, um, not so densely populated buildings I want to have. So this is what I'm keeping in mind here while building the town. So it's very densely populated here. Let's actually get rid of the uh, police station there once again. So in this case, it's perfectly valid to just copy this layout in the center for now um, and just build those houses here then as well, right? Having those buildings here just exemplifies that this is the center um, where we just really have no green at all. So this is really just skyscraper on skyscraper later. And here, the more we get outside, the more green becomes and the more um, smaller the buildings get. So this is what I like to have it a bit more looking organic. Um, we also connect now these layouts here together. So this is coming together here. Don't forget that, oh no, they have a ceasefire again, the pirate and mishunt, not something I like so much. So this is really just where all of that is coming together then later. Um, here we can have another district. Now this district is already a bit further away. So we're going to focus here a bit more than on, you know, gardens and stuff like that. So we're going to have some greener spots um, and also more courtyards again with the houses. Like this one, where we have a courtyard in the center then. In order to sell more soap and to make more money off that, as long as our balance is not looking so stable yet, we are going to increase our size here. So um, four more rendering works and two more soap factories that we're going to have in this area. So this is way too much for what the town needs, but it enables us to have more soap than for Eli. This one is on the way again. Um, and we're going to establish your trade route then basically with the Royal Galleon here sending the soap then to um, Eli, right? Um, another thing is we might still upgrade a few more houses. Oh, actually we don't. The um, workforce is rather balanced now. So Sleepy Hollow really is something. But look at that. Should we purchase a share back? No, we can't afford that. It's it's still fine, the share in this, in this regard. But that 
is something for the future to keep in mind. Now, SOAP is on the way and we can thus continue focusing on Crown Falls. It's also looking rather stable military-wise at the moment. Um, what I would like to do here still is... We still need to find, right, first of all, to get the... We still need to get some defense there to uh, Carmen. So I'm going to add um, a few of these building resources then to Carmen over there. Let's do this. And once this is up and running, we need to find Sean because I need to get a ceasefire up with him as well. While we continue to grow. So here and here. Down here it's looking rather good, so we might also just have a few more blocks of houses here. And Carmen, yeah, not looking so good at the moment. But seriously, we will have time for all of that at some point. Right now it's all about the taxes, because at some point we need to get positive again. Um, that is looking good. Um, I think, yep, yeah, we have the resources here now to finally upgrade um, Crown Falls to workers. And I think we might just do that now with the first buildings. So we do have a few here. Right, and let's have this block here as our first houses going for workers now. And thus Crown Falls is officially the port town. And I love these new modded buildings there as well. Especially the worker houses. Fantastic looking. And thus we continue onwards to a great, great city.